Test seven, part one. Look at part one. Now we are ready to start. For each question, choose the correct answer. One. What is the woman talking about? The colours are absolutely amazing. Bright yellow, orange, red, even deep blue. These are tulip flowers at their very best. I don't think you'd find better ones at the flower shop. It's all about design and the way you plant them in the garden, and also making sure it's the right time of year to plant them. You'll never buy flowers again once you understand how to plant your own. You just need to make sure that you water them every day and twice on hot days. Now listen again. The colours are absolutely amazing: bright yellow, orange, red, even deep blue. These are tulip flowers at their very best. I don't think you'd find better ones at the flower shop. It's all about design and the way you plant them in the garden, and also making sure it's the right time of year to plant them. You'll never buy flowers again. Once you understand how to plant your own, you just need to make sure that you water them every day and twice on hot days. Two. What is the current weather? Here is the weather. It's still sunny in our area, which has helped make the snow disappear. But temperatures will again fall to below zero by the end of the week. With more snowfall for many areas, November saw the UK's most snowfall since 1965, and December has continued to be very cold and snowy. With only 12 days left to go, many will be hoping for a white Christmas, while others will be hoping for some rest from the difficulties the heavy snow has brought. Now listen again. Here is the weather. It's still sunny in our area, which has helped make the snow disappear. But temperatures will again fall to below zero by the end of the week, with more snowfall for many areas. November saw the UK's most snowfall since 1965, and December has continued to be very cold and snowy. With only 12 days left to go, many will be hoping for a white Christmas, while others will be hoping for some rest from the difficulties the heavy snow has brought. Three. Where are they? Wow, this place is fantastic. I need to get my camera out of my bag and take a few photos. I'd heard it was good, but I wasn't expecting such impressive architecture. This is one of the best school trips we've ever been on. Can you send me some of the photos you were taking? Sure. It really is a work of art, and there is so much here. We need to go all the way around it. Yes, let's have a proper look, and then we can go for hot chocolate. Good idea. I saw a coffee shop on our way up here. Now listen again. Wow, this place is fantastic. I need to get my camera out of my bag and take a few photos. I'd heard it was good, but I wasn't expecting such impressive architecture. This is one of the best school trips we've ever been on. Can you send me some of the photos you were taking? Sure. It really is a work of art, and there is so much here. We need to go all the way around it. Yes, let's have a proper look, and then we can go for hot chocolate. Good idea. I saw a coffee shop on our way up here. Four. What is the woman going to do on Sunday? Bye, Jean. I hope you have a nice weekend. Are you doing anything special? Not really. We were thinking of going sailing in my husband's new sailing boat, but the weather forecast says it will be very windy and cold. Not good for sailing. Also, my son Ben is not very well. He has the flu and has a bit of a fever. He needs to rest, so he'll probably sit and watch TV all weekend while I carry on with painting the kitchen.
Now listen again. Bye, Jean. I hope you have a nice weekend. Are you doing anything special? Not really. We were thinking of going sailing in my husband's new sailing boat, but the weather forecast says it will be very windy and cold. Not good for sailing. Also, my son Ben is not very well. He has the flu and has a bit of a fever. He needs to rest, so he'll probably sit and watch TV all weekend while I carry on with painting the kitchen. Five. What are the people talking about? Wow, I haven't had so much fun before. That was really great, wasn't it? It was okay, but the sound was a bit loud. We were very close to the speakers. I feel deaf now. Oh no, it has to be loud. My only problem was the fact that it was so crowded, and the guy next to me kept hitting me when he was dancing. Then a girl spilt her drink all over my trousers. I will need to change them as soon as we go home. Now listen again. Wow, I haven't had so much fun before. That was really great, wasn't it? It was okay, but the sound was a bit loud. We were very close to the speakers. I feel deaf now. Oh no, it has to be loud. My only problem was the fact that it was so crowded, and the guy next to me kept hitting me when he was dancing. Then a girl spilt her drink all over my trousers. I will need to change them as soon as we go home. Six. Where do the people work? I have never had anyone behave like that before. He was so rude. I know he was rude to me too. I nearly got very angry with him. It's lucky he left when he did. I tell you what, I can't wait to get my holiday booked up and enjoy people looking after me for a change. I'm tired of dealing with people like him. Well, at least he left me a big tip. I will give you half of it, as you also had to deal with him. Now listen again. I have never had anyone behave like that before. He was so rude. I know he was rude to me too. I nearly got very angry with him. It's lucky he left when he did. I tell you what, I can't wait to get my holiday booked up and enjoy people looking after me for a change. I'm tired of dealing with people like him. Well. At least he left me a big tip. I will give you half of it, as you also had to deal with him. Seven. At which time is the plumber available? Ah,、uh, hello. I'm Rob Benson. You left a message on my answering machine saying you had an emergency with your water pipes, but um, now I can't reach you. Anyway, I'm free between half past two and five. If you want me to come by and help fix your problem, I hope if it was urgent, you have already sorted it out. If not, contact me on my mobile phone. That's four seven five nine three three nine seven four four three. For now, I would advise you to look for the main tap, which is usually under the kitchen sink, and turn it off. Now listen again. Ah,、uh, hello. I'm Rob Benson. You left a message on my answering machine saying you had an emergency with your water pipes, but um, now I can't reach you. Anyway, I'm free between half past two and five. If you want me to come by and help fix your problem, I hope if it was urgent, you have already sorted it out. If not, contact me on my mobile phone. That's four seven five nine three three nine seven four four three. For now, I would advise you to look for the main tap, which is usually under the kitchen sink, and turn it off. That is the end of part one.